Well, welcome to tonight's show. You're with Tom, Brian and Steve, and this is NRL from the sidelines. And as we do every week, we're going to talk about the NRL. Although we haven't had a round just happening, we've had some international. So we'll talk about that, and then we're going to talk about the next round coming up. Gentlemen, how are we tonight? I've got no signs. Are you oh, got no, voice? we can hear him again. No, it's still pretty, oh, pretty rough, but it's there. I was actually thinking on the way in, we should all change our name for tonight's show. Ooh, what? To what? I was going to call you Bilbo Baggins. What? And Gandalf the Grey. And I don't know what I was going to be. He's lost it. He has lost, he lost it. it. <laughs> Is there a reason for that, Frodo? No, no. no. <laughs> I was uh, thinking Gollum. I, 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 I think I'm more of a jab of the heart or something or other. But Ooh. No. Um, no, no, no. I just thought yeah. further around. But anyway, we won't do that. Enough of that, yeah. Um, so, gentlemen, let's talk about some of the internationals that happened over the weekend. We can start yeah. with the Friday night... Women's State, State of Origin, 14-4, yep. won by New South Wales, yep. which, by the way, was something like 4-0 up until about 20 minutes to go. It was. Yep. Yep. It was a very entertaining game. I, I, I think women's football has come up in leap, leaps and bounds. They hit hard. They do. They there's, do. there's no wrestle. It's yep. fast. And did they hit hard? Yeah, but they, they, they have classic tackling. You know? mm. They're not doing all that sort of other wrestling stupidity. Um, <clears throat> no, I thought the um, the New South Wales women stuck really solid in defence in the first half. Yeah. Um, and they let their one try in. But I um, I always had hope that they had some points in them. And they proved it. I mean, they should have scored four tries. The, one of the put-downs was, was a knock-on. Um, the first try was a no try. Um, so they, they won comprehensively. Mm. Um, it was a really entertaining game. Um, last year's grade was 6,000 at North Sydney Oval, and this, this was nearly 11,000. So, yeah. huge. Good crowd. Yeah. And apparently really good for young girls coming out and being able to meet their, their heroes on the field. Yep. Um, really good to promote women's football. Yeah, mm. so, good good, good yeah. night. Did you get a chance to watch it? No. Okay. Well, That's why I'm just nodding you, politely. Did you get a chance to watch it? I saw most of it. Okay. I didn't get to see all of it. So. I actually thought that the best player on the field was actually the um, the New South Wales prop, Samama Taufa. Yeah, and I posted, be. I posted it. She, was like Taufa Lolo. She was. <laughs> she, that, that, that's the way she was running. She was yeah. running like Damalolo, making lots of post contact meters, and I think she was the difference in the second half. Yeah, I mean, I I can't um, I can't read off the names. I can't remember who was who, but. Mm. There's the other one, Sturden? Sturden. 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 They gave it to the halfback. Yeah. yeah. And she had a pretty good second half, there's yeah. no doubt. Um, and the runaway try, the intercept. She's mm. so quick. She's, mm. I don't know, I don't, I, sorry, I couldn't even tell you what her name was. Yeah. She, she, did the, she did the 100 metres about nine and a half seconds. Mm. Mm. Yeah, no, it was interesting. Yeah, like, go on, you tell me that. That's not unusual. I could do that in my younger days. Oh, my younger days? Phew. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not young anymore. The flying prop forward, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so, yeah, good. Good for yeah. women's football. Um, yeah, good hard, good hard game. Yeah. yeah. So, Brian, if we wanted to go and buy a women's jersey, all our women's I, I'm pre- out there... Yes, I, I'm pretty sure away. that uh, that guy stuff would guy have... Guy stuff? Yeah, would have women's jerseys well, as well. Shouldn't it shouldn't be called lady stuff. Hmm... Yes, that is a bit politically incorrect there, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Darren, a bit politically incorrect. That's right, yeah. Either way, head on down yeah, to Guy we'll Stuff. we another side of your business. We'll call it ladies' stuff. But anyway, get into Guy Stuff and, and, and check out a jersey down there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Oh, there's lots of things. There's, there's jerseys, there's caps, there's yes. beanies, there's... I'm after, my, I'm after drinking, a new jersey. Drinking mugs, there's glasses, there's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. All right, enough. Enough, let's talk there about the football. Oh, it doesn't pay enough? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't pay okay. anything. Then, <laughs> Let's talk about the Saturday International. Uh, New Zealand against Tonga. New Zealand winning 34 to 14. I was disappointed. So was I. I. Tonga would <coughs> actually, oh, actually, I thought they'd beat them. Yeah, I, yeah, I was tipping Tonga. Sure. But they've still got a really strong side on paper, New Zealand. New Zealand, oh, yeah. yeah. Despite the fact they've lost lots of players. I mean, imagine how good they'd be had they gained, re- retained Tapao and Taumalolo and. Um, uh, for Noah Blake, Blake yeah. you know, so oh, yeah, absolutely. you know, so they've still been able to lose those players <coughs> and still um, manage to put on a score. So, can I ask, what do you guys think of, of that? Where um, 
those players who would usually be picked for New Zealand and now being picked for their home countries, for their heritage. I like it. Samoa, yeah. Tonga. Yeah. I, I like it. Um, yeah. I, I, I was reading that New Zealand Rugby League are not very happy because, uh, because they feel as though they've put a lot of investment into these players. Yep. But in saying that, like, I don't know... I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, like, because this isn't a matter of where you were born anyway, mm. because if you, if, you, if you go down and you have a look at, at, at the players in the New Zealand team, like, you know, Dallin Martini Zelezniak, you know, was born in Penrith, you know, like, yeah, Penrith course, Junior, yeah. like, but you know. But you take your grandparents. Yeah, but that, so, right. so I, I, but they're, they're, they're upset, the players, like, you know, uh, Blake and Fanoa Blake and Tamalalo and all the rest of them have have switched allegiances, mm. and I'm kind of thinking, well, well, they weren't developed by the by the by the yeah, they, they, they were developed by their club. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Benji wasn't developed by anyone in New Zealand. No, no, he was playing up at Keebra Park High School up on the Gold Coast. Mm. Mm. You know, if anything, it could be a Queensland up. Mm. <laughs> but yeah. um, yeah, careful. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I think their arguments nonsense, and and I like the fact that these guys are saying now. No thanks, New Zealand. We actually don't have anything to do with you anyway. Mm. We're, we're actually going to take on our heritage. So I, I yeah. like that. Look, I think that the intention of certainly Tamalolo, who started all this off before the World Cup, was to mm. strengthen the other the other teams um, and make the Pacific um, the Pacific nations stronger again and to make them relevant. You know, because um, mm. obviously they want to get Tier One status, um, mm. but. As you can see, that you know, the, the tier two um, were given a bit of a lesson by the tier one um, team, uh, and they're yeah. still a work in progress. Did you? Yeah, but they weren't at the World Cup. I mean, when, when you no, go back, no, to yeah. The World but, Cup. but I think New Zealand have been strengthened. I, I think you know, players like Jared Wira Hargraves is playing some of his best footy. Oh, yeah. I mean, Sean Johnson was a star in, in that game. Benji yeah. Marshall was, Benji was, was really was good. solid as. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, well, that was a really good game. I, I, I liked it. It just went the wrong yeah. way. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen the underdogs win. You know, they've got Jerome Hughes coming into the team now. Yep. Jo- Joey Manu's, um, you know, really coming on. So, so you know, they feel, they're refilling their stocks. Um, oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So did you enjoy that? You didn't enjoy that one, Steve? I, I did. I was just disappointed in the result. Yeah. I, I just I expected it to be a lot harder. I expected mm-hmm. it to be a lot closer. Yeah. Yep. I guess I I was looking forward to that one more so than the Samoa one because the last couple of years Tom has <coughs> been a little bit um have, have had a little bit over Samoa. Yeah. So I thought this one was going to be the best of all of them, but it wasn't. Yeah. In fact, oh. the Samoa one was the best of all of them. But yeah. Anyway, let's. Let's move on and we'll talk about the next one, which was Fiji and Lebanon. Mm. You that could always was, see this coming. Oh, uh, I, still I, I didn't expect this result, but yeah. I didn't. I, I, Fiji were always right. going to win it. You would never expect fifty-eight points. Um, that was yeah, that was disappointing. But I thought they they, they would win comfortably. Fiji, I thought they, mm. they had a lot of, and and you knew that a lot of Lebanon players hadn't um, hadn't. Well, they, they had country play. players. They had players who were playing the Ron Massey Cup. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know, they, they really don't Did have... they have any team. actually Lebanese natives? Yes, one. Each one. team has to have one player from the country. home. Right, okay. So, yeah, they did They did bring someone... And, and he, he plays for a university team in, mm-hmm. in Lebanon. Mansour Lookalike scored two tries for Lebanon? Yeah, look, yeah, he's... Abbas Miski? He's, uh, he's not bad. Uh, I mean, he's not uh, a world beater, yeah. but um, he's solid, so... But, but this also says something about the, the international competition is that... You've got national teams um, with players who can't make first grade in you know in yeah. in in, this, in Australia. It says a lot about the Australian competition as well, but um, it, it does tend to water water down the, the yeah. Uh, but but the I'm wondering if if because if, if if Australia didn't have such a big Lebanese heritage, I wonder if Lebanon would even yeah be recognised. Yeah, sure. You know, I mean, more so than, than any other nation. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, yes, I, I get the 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 teams from around the Pacific. Yeah. But Lebanon is so far away from Australia. But it's I think it's only because we've got players like, you know, who who can come out here and play and mm. play in the NRL that that have a Lebanon heritage that that happens for. Sure. Yeah. Um, 
Sure. I was disappointed with the result. You know, thirty-four nil at half time. Mm -hmm. It was always going to happen. But I tell you what, I don't, I don't know if Fiji came out and played bad, which they probably did. But Lebanon actually played well in the second half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they they had a they had a bit more ball and a bit more go forward. Yeah. Corbin Sims made a big difference. He's a very good player. I yeah. thought I thought he was probably the the difference in the forward packs, and he just made meters every time he touched the ball. Yeah. So, mind you, he didn't have a lot of opposition either. You know, you've got you've got Kikau, Sivo, who's really coming on, uh, Vunivalu, um, Jason Ra Bakuri, Ravalava scored, scored, scored two tries. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, look, they were they were just better all over the park, yeah. but faster. Yeah. You know. They really were. But no, look, I, I, I yeah. actually quite enjoyed that game. I didn't mind it. I think Fiji play entertaining football. Yeah, they, they play they play, they play football that's good to watch. Yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, after that, there was Samoa and Papua New Guinea. Samoa winning 24-6. Samoa. And see, PNG were really competitive the last couple of years. Yeah. And I thought that they would actually have it over Samoa. Um, <coughs> Samoa only really won this in the last 10, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Well... well that score was put on in the last... I mean, it was pretty yeah. close for 60 yeah. minutes. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's true. You know, two the, tries to one or two the, the thing that was probably of note in that game was that the uh, the PNG forward pack looked ill-disciplined. Like, one-off runs. Yeah. Um, mm. Hard as nails. But um, they didn't look like they had a lot of dimension to their game, so... But but interestingly, the majority of those players play in the, um, in the State Cup. Mm-hmm. Um, in the Queensland State Cup, so you would have thought that they'd be a little bit better organised. Oh, there was there, were, there, but there were a couple there, like that that big Luke Page for mm -hmm. PNG. Mm -hmm. uh, he was just watching blokes run past him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had no lateral movement. I, I'm sorry, like he's a big unit, but he had no lateral movement. Yeah, and that was a that was just a killer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I, I enjoyed that game. I thought it yeah. was um, entertaining. So, yeah. what do you think of the, of, the, of the the representative round? Do you think that's worth doing every year? Yes. Oh, I, yeah, I, I love love the games. Hate the fact that the NRL goes there's on. There's no by. NRL, yeah. And, and particularly <clears throat> for my team, we, we had a bye, a game, and now virtually a bye. Yeah. It's very disruptive and it's just mm. you don't get to see enough of your team. Yeah. No, well, I, I really like it. I, I don't mind if it stays. Um, you're right. I don't like the 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 bye, then bye. And, yeah. But you know what? But, it, but every team goes through that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you sure. say you've had, you've had a buy and then play and then <coughs> weekend off. I mean, for a team like South, they haven't. But they've had the weekend off. They'll have a game this weekend and then they'll have a buy. So, so it's, it's the, the, op it's it's the same opposite yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. every other team. Sure. So. sure. So now look, I, I, I like the idea. I'm, you know, and also it gets away from this that we're overtaxing our players too much during state of origin periods. So mm. this one game gives them a break for... Yep. For the period, so... And, and you know what the best thing about it is, is clubs aren't penalised during this time with all their star players out, mm. so... Mm. Sure, sure. All right. Yep. Now the big game, Steve. We'll get to the big one. Get Go to the big you one. You want to go there? In Perth, New South Wales versus Queensland. New South Wales winning 38-6. to six. Now, Brian, mm. you were telling us before about... Pick the score. Oh no! I um. Well, well, one of our viewers yes. uh, has a uh, well has a has a store, and uh, he offered a uh, fifty-five, sixty-dollar voucher for pick the score. Well, I ran out with a thirty-eight, ten, and was laughed at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm close enough. <laughs> But um, yeah. So you picked thirty eight ten, and you didn't get the price. No. Nah. What sort of store does Wall have? Uh, Wall Wall has a uh, shisha store, like smoke pipes. A shisha store. Shisha. Okay. Blue mist. Blue mist. Blue mist. Okay. Hello, Wall. Right. There you go, Wall. Yeah. Gave you a plug, mate. You owe me one. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants his voucher. <laughs> Give him his voucher. Um. We all picked New South Wales last week. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't think any of us truly saw this sort of scoreline. It just doesn't what, happen in origin. Were, were the changes that Freddie Fiddler made... You paying attention or what? Were the, cha the seven changes that he made really give this sort of result or were Queensland just poor? Oh, Queensland were poor. I think No, I think it was both. Yeah, of course, it's always both. But um, Queensland you know, were really poor. 
But I, I, I made a comment last week, you know, it's Freddie's team and he's got to put his stamp on it. Mm. Um, he certainly did. And the players that he uh, bought in who we were all concerned about, they just, they romped it. Yeah. They absolutely killed it. I, I think it, it came down to attitude. I think the attitude wasn't there in the first game. Um, you know, I'm not saying they didn't try, but I think the, the attitude and effort, as they talk about, wasn't there in the first game. And, you know, there are a number of players who let who, who are not playing, who didn't play in Perth. Um, but, look, you, you had the addition of um, Tom Pravojevic, which um, made an enormous difference. Um, did, did it? I mean, he's, oh, two yeah. of those tries he scored, I could have scored. But, but the I mean, point honestly, is, he just yeah, but the point is he was in the right place at the right time, and that's no, the yeah, skill. That's the that, skill. That's the skill of a. That's the skill of any centre. <clears throat> well, it's the skill of any fullback. I, I think. Um, yeah, he played a fullback role. He played a fullback role. It, yeah, we had two d- fullbacks on the defense. Back. When 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 it, when it came to defense, he moved back out to the center. Yeah. Otherwise, in attack, he was just playing fullback. Yeah, he roving, was all over it. Uh, and uh, and he yeah. went looking for the ball. Yeah. And I think, and that was the difference between. Uh, the last game when uh, Latrell was out there, yeah. he, he waited for the ball to come to him, come. Yeah. and then he was pressured and uh, and made a mistake and and couldn't get the ball away. Didn't want to didn't want to run because I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was just a totally different game. I mean, yeah. Tom's first try taking the ball out of Ponga's hands. Oh yeah, that was, that was, was superb. Great. Yeah. You yeah. know, and you don't see enough of that. Mm-hmm. He he did that back in to Ponga back in round. When did we play him? Three, four. Yeah, I think yeah. <laughs> he's done that to me in Club Land as well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and look, you know, Tedesco and Tervoyevich, um, um teamed up really well. Um, but you know, yeah. both those tries for for Tommy came off t- Tedesco. Um, mm. Yeah, he yeah. just just backing up. I mean, and and let's face it, in the first game, every time, every time, uh, uh, Damien Cook or, or Tedesco made a break, mm. there was no one there. Yeah. yeah, this time there was. So. Yeah, on Damien Cook, I thought he had a really quiet game. Oh, um, I thought he was it, was, it wasn't too bad in, in, in the second half, but this first half, I kept waiting for him to run. I actually texted you and I said, finally Damien Cook makes a run. And I can't remember what time it was, but it was a well into the yeah, game. But you've mm. got to remember, I mean, it, it's pouring with rain, it's soggy. You won't get, Damien Cook won't get the speed out of that that he would yeah. normally get. Yeah, just, Look, he didn't I, seem I was, trying. No, no, I was, I was, I was happy with, I was happy with Cook's game. <clears throat> um, uh, you know, Really, we all picked him. We basically picked him for man of the match in the first game. It was he was a toss up between yeah. him and Teddy, mm-hmm. and and you know if it was a ten out of ten performance gets you a man of the match, he probably gave us a, a six in the first game, which was disappointing. Mm. But you know if we we're going to rate the players, and you'd give him an eight and a half out of that for, out of that game for sure. Oh, well, I, I just don't think we should oh, expect so. every player to be a superstar. No, no, but I thought he, I thought he was. I thought he was he, he played better in game one than he did in game oh, two. I don't think no, he played no, nearly, but, nearly as well in game he, two. But he had a firm surface to run, yeah. and, and, and that's yeah. and that's the benefit of Cook. Oh, yeah. Cook will, will dart out of dummy half. Mm. You try doing that on a wet, soggy yeah. ground. Yeah, they didn't give him any room in. though. And no, that no, was the no, other no, They didn't give him any room. But yeah. but I thought since uh, they've been so poor that I thought he'd have opportunities in. Yeah. 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 And yeah. and, and Freddie was a uh, Freddie's a genius because he picked all. Um, you know, edge forwards on the bench, and it rained, and, and you complained about that. <laughs> and it rained on the bench. Hey, Freddie's team, yeah. <laughs> but it rained, yeah. and everything went well because he had uh, smaller men, more mobile. Yeah, it just yeah. everything just worked. Yeah. All right. There was one period of the game that absolutely incensed me. Incensed. Incensed. Ooh, I am absolutely the show. Yeah, Hang I know. on, I'm just I I'm just thinking. Did any South player get taken from? Do you want me to look up the dictionary? Yeah, that's incense. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to look up the dictionary and get the definition? Go, I, I go tell angry. us. Tell us what yeah, made your you face told everything. Incensed. incensed. What made you angry? The penalty try. Oh, I was okay with that. Oh, please. I think I thought it was How a real fifty-fifty. Yeah, but it wasn't that. No. Yeah, hundred percent. Ten ninety. No. Oh, honestly. No, 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 no. Oh, please. Don't, don't, don't be silly. Listen to me. Oh, far out you carry on with stuff sometimes. Listen to me. Listen. I want you to think back to game one. Yep. Dylan Napper dives over the ball. Everyone thinks he's grounded it, but he hasn't. I'm yep. Look, he's missed it. Yep. There's a great chance that that was going to be exactly no. the same result. And this try was given... The guy wasn't even over the line when he got bumped. Yep. 
There's no, there's no, no. guarantee he would have had this. Absolutely not. He, he yeah. basically yeah. grounded the ball over the dead yeah. ball line, and he had a player step in front of him and try okay. and take him and out. The diff- so, difference is about a meter. So if you, I think he took a meter off him. So oh, when he, when he bumped, he took a meter yes, at least. There's still no guarantee he was going to ground it. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. There was nobody else in Kui. For Are the we ball. now saying that every time that happens in a club game, that's a try? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's so a try. You I, I was, was that because I tell yeah, you, you know what? what? The moment it happens against Manning, the moment it happens against Arusha, no. yeah. they're both going to be blown yeah. as up. Soon as, as soon as that no, went up... enough points to the white matter. Yeah, true. It's, oh, only, it's only where it's south. <laughs> um, as, soon as, uh, as soon as that went upstairs, I said to the people I was watching it with, that'll be a penalty try. Yeah. I was that convinced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah so, no, no, I, th- I, th- I think you're wrong in this, this situation, Stephen. Of course he's wrong. Oh, listen, I'm never wrong. And if you don't know can that I call already... Can I call your wife? Can I call, can no. I call your wife? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, never wrong. No, no, don't call her. In, in my own mind, I'm never wrong. And I'm not wrong in this one. I, I thought it was a bad decision mm. because this precedent is now very, very dangerous. No, I th- well, I thought it was Origin, barely true. Origin rules are different too. You know, no, no, but it shouldn't be. Well, but it was. Are, but they are. But we now have a situation where every time that happens, it has to be a penalty try. No, no it doesn't have to be. Why? You know, so I actually, surely now we, 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 are, are we saying it, we don't need everyone to be consistent? But look, an own reflection. There was a choice. It was going to be a penalty try. It was going to be ten in the bin. That's I know which one. Which, I know which one I would have preferred. I was glad with. The, I was happy that they. That's what it should have been. Try. Ten in the bin. I get that. I I I, uh, I was happy with the penalty try because six points they could have put on three tries with one man down. So yeah, I was so actually pretty happy with. No, no, it happens. It happens. No. Um, but I mean, it was early in the game, so you didn't know what kind of Queensland team you were up, up against. We found out later on. But, um, you know, had it been the team that played last week, or the, uh, the last game one, and take a man off, they could very easily have scored three tries. This yeah. way they ended up with one try and, and still 13 uh, Blues players. Sorry, totally disagree. So, where do we go from you're, here? You're, you're allowed to be wrong. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I just told you I'm never wrong. Now, the official man of the match, though, before we get to that, was Jack. Jake. Look, I, I, I love Jake, really? but I don't think he was man of the match. I, I didn't think so either. no. 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 I no. thought uh, I thought either Maloney, um, look Tom Tom was brilliant, but he, he was there to receive the try. So I don't think that makes him man of the match. I think he had a sensational game. Um, I think Maloney, I think Teddy had a good game, um, but I would have been happy to go with Maloney. I think he was the general. He he made it all happen. Well, I, I, well, in in my mind, it was it was Tom Maloney Jake. I I don't I thought that was a bit odd that that he was man of the match, but. Yeah. Yeah. So, do, do we now go with the same team for next... Keeping in mind Clear is injured, and we'll come yeah. to that in a minute. No. Do we stick with the same, or do we, well, do we talk go about, back? Let's talk no. about Clemmer coming back in. So, yeah. I mean, you've got to make some changes if that happens, because they've already got their props sorted out. So, either you lose Safiti or you lose Vaughan. Because I, I think Vaughan's okay, but I, don't, I, I think you can't keep, compare it to Clemmer, and I thought Safiti was equally as good as Vaughan. Yeah, no, I think you've got to bring um, Clemmer back. <clears throat> and no. there's talk about moving Wade Graham into the halves um, and yeah, keeping him in the halves. I know where you're going. Yeah. Right? A- a- or, bring back, or bring back Mitchell Pearce. You know, <laughs> is, the other, is the other question. Never, Freddie, I know you watch the show. He does. Do not bring back Pearce. Full stop. So what do you really think, Brian? Seriously, 18 games, 4 wins, yeah, and he but... knocked back the last two opportunities to play this year. He was injured. Oh, injured. A cork. Let, let me just tell you, I, 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 don't, I don't like Dylan Napper, but he went out there and played with a broken hand. Man, you, you, you can be half dead and still play Origin, and Pierce has gone, oh, thanks, I've got a cork. And you know what the, you know what the worst thing about it was? Is the week before when, oh, no, I've, I, what was his first excuse? Groin strain. Groin strain. He was fine to play two days later for Newcastle. No, absolutely not. Pierce does not get a run full stop. There you go. Okay, so... Do we make changes, though? Do, do we make changes? Okay, let's talk about Cleary. Cleary is injured. Yep. Yep. So, so let's, need a, let's need presume he's not going to make the team. Yep. Okay. Who's the half? Uh, Jack Whiten. Jack Whiten is now the half. Uh, well, he's he's there. So he who's going to fill his centre? He did nothing wrong in the centres. Uh, yeah. Who's going to fill his centre spot? But hang on, why, why wouldn't you put Maloney at half and bring him up at his 5'8"? Yeah, why? either way, yeah. Well, I'm just curious as to why you put him in half. Either way, um, who, whoever plays outside of Maloney... 
can't be a shot caller, I don't think. They've just got to no, be a link right. man. Mm. And Which so, is the danger of bringing Pierce in. You yeah, oh, yeah. yeah well, you're, you're not bringing Pierce yeah. in. Yeah. Full stop. Okay. Take that out of your mind and so, throw it away. So if, 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 um, if Latrell kills it this weekend... Absolutely. You bring him back? Yeah. Who goes out? Tom? No, 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 no. Because Jack, Jack White and Jack goes White's going go to back to five eight to the no, to the house. So, so I, I don't. The, those positions are too important to be playing around with. You, well, I, I no, don't no. think you bring a halfback in who's never a person who's never played halfback. No, no. Maloney goes to half and bring and bring no, no, White, no, no, Jack plays, White and five eight. He plays five eight for his club. Yeah, yeah and he's no, been no, playing I, pretty well. I, I would bring in a specialist half. No, so I, you're I'm talking about Cody Walker. No, no, no. I'm talking about Reynolds, not Walker. No, no. I would no, I wouldn't no, bring Reynolds. Reynolds and, and Maloney no. are the same player. Yeah. It, they do the Agreed. same job for their club. I, no, I, 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 I'd, go, I'd go Cody Walker over, over Reynolds, and I'd probably go Luke <coughs> Keery if Luke Keery's back over both of them. Well, yeah, Luke yeah, Keery shouldn't Keery. be available. Shouldn't? No, because... I don't know how far away he is. Round 17. Okay. So he, he, he'll yeah. Okay, well, so, so yeah, so, so the option is to bring in a centre, be it, you know, uh, Luttrell, perhaps, if he has a blinder, or... Uh, you know, being Josh Morris back. back. Josh who's, Morris who's back in. Should we be bringing back players on one big game? Luttrell <coughs> yeah. hasn't had a good game. Hasn't had a good series. He, he bombed out in game one. Yep. Didn't play game two. Just because he has one good game this weekend, should he be able? Well, to come the question back? is, no, should he have been dropped in the first place? Yeah, he should have been. Obviously, thirty-eight six. He should have been dropped. Uh, Oh, look, well, would yeah. it have been forty eight six if we put well, we, no. we agree. No, it would it would it would have been the other way around. We won't that they probably shouldn't change the team. They should have gone with the same one. And I think that same team still would have won this game. No. Probably not by thirty eight six. Yeah. But they still would have won. Well, the quite simply, I, I think that you've got to choose people who are in form. And it's it's horses for courses. But he's so, going for me. If he has one yeah, good game. No, but if he has form? one yeah, I think if he has one good game, Latrell well, Mitchell is back in form. Yeah, Pick I know. Yeah, and basically one or two And I disagree with that as well. Well, he did the job, didn't and, he? And wow. you've, you've got to look at you've got to look at Maloney's going to be there and who's going to play outside of him. And the other the other thing is Latrell Latrell is not playing like Latrell at the moment. No. If he can have a blinder, then there's every chance that he's he's sorted out whatever's going on in his head and he and he's showing you what he can do. In which mm. case you put him back in. Okay, let's talk yeah. Queensland. Does Queen, Queensland change? Oh, I mean, yeah. they they yeah. they won't panic like change. New South Wales do all the time. It wasn't a panic. Made four what changes. Panic? Four changes. He four made. changes is a pretty big panic. Trust me. <laughs> well, I think, along with the other three injuries, I think Kevy has to make some changes. He's got to he's got to tell his team, you just can't serve that up again, and he won't stick with them. Well, so does Josh Maguire get another run? Oh, what? He'll get there because he's a Queenslander, but honestly, he shouldn't play again ever. Seriously, he's just a girl. That, that hit on my at the end of the game. But, but, was... he, but even that, he's past form with eye gouging and all this stuff. Somebody said he's got a glass eye. Yeah, from an eye gouge. Yeah. So he's got a glass eye, well, it, and he gouges. Not glass, but he's injured eyes. in one eye. He's got limited vision. Seriously, I mean, what kind of? No, yeah, don't say it. Don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> we all know we got, it. We're going don't to say a lawsuit. Don't say sure. it. Um, sure. Here's here's the question: Do Queensland pick and stick? Well, certainly when they win by four, they do. <clears throat> Let's see what happens when they lose by 32. I reckon they'll stick. I yeah. reckon they might make well, a change or two. Well, that's not picking and sticking, is it? Oh, come on. They're no, going to make no, a no. change or two, but not seven. No, seriously. Seriously, this is the argument all the time. Queensland pick and stick. You know what? The other difference is New South Wales have an abundance of talent. Mm. Yeah, okay. So... Tom goes out of the centres and has, and push to the wing. You know what? We bring in Latrell. We bring in James Roberts. We bring in. There's a dozen players who can do the job. Mm. You know the Queensland side. I was That's thinking about. Little, I was thinking yeah. about it today for a for a state that claims we are we are the heartland of rugby league. You've got one bloke, Corbin Sims, who could come into that team. Well, you know what? the heartland of rugby league. Pigs. Yeah. Cam Smith said uh, that was hard to watch. You sound incensed. And apparently, I hear, I don't know where I heard it from, uh, he said, I need to be out there, Cam I'd, Smith. I'd love it. I want him to play and get that score put on him. Well, again. you know what? The best player on their team... Careful. Their, what the be, do you wish for? The best player in their team was, was ben the Hunt. guy he would replace. Ben Hunt. That's Absolutely. Right. So, yeah. Careful what you wish for, Brian, if he oh, comes back. Yes, Cam, come back and... Have an origin loss handed. But really, to it just flies in the face of that whole idea of <coughs> you've got to move forward. 
And you know, if you if your cl- club's struggling and this guy's retired, then they need to move forward, and they've got to take it. They've got to, they've got to suck it up because that's what New South yep. Wales have had to do. Absolutely, years and years. All right. Are we having enough of State of Origin? Oh, never. Can't wait for the next game. Bring on game three. Oh, yeah. In Sydney. Oh, yeah. June 10, July oh, yeah. 10. July 10. Oh, yeah. A little day camp. Oh, yeah. But before that. Oh, before that. Before that. This weekend. Oh, yeah. Some real football. Yeah. Some real football. So let's start off on Thursday night at Bankway Stadium where the Tigers are hosting South Sydney. This. Mm-hmm. You know, they still haven't updated the buys. Oh, because they haven't had it yet. Everybody's had a buy. Don't worry. I'm with you now. <laughs> you, you sure? No. <laughs> okay. You know what that is. So do you want me to announce that one again? Bankwest Stadium, Tigers yep. playing South Sydney? Yep. Announce it again, Steve. I just did. So uh, Sam's out. I think one Sam's of your other Burgesses is out. Yeah, there's it? only one Burgess in at the moment. Right. George okay. is in, the other two are out. Right. Both injured. But you've got Reynolds back and you've got Braden Burns back. Yes. Um... I, Prior to that, if Reynolds had been out, I would definitely have been picking the Tigers, but I'm really struggling to pick them. I mean, they can have a really good game, and then they can be awful. Yeah. Um, You're struggling to pick the Tigers? I, I really want to pick the you, Tigers. You want to pick the Tigers? I want to pick the Why? Tigers. Why? Um, because I think that on their day, they can, they can, beat, they can beat teams like the Rabbitohs. Oh. Cook, Burgess, Murray, Reynolds, Walker... Roberts, Gagai, Johnson. No, why are you going to pick against the Bunnies? That well, same team almost got beat by the Tigers last year. Mm. Quite a convincing yeah. score. Don't, like, don't worry. Don't I think worry, it'll Steve. be close. Honestly, I think it'll be close, but I'll bag. be tipping the Rabbitohs only by a couple. In the bag, Steve. Don't worry about it. So, so, so Brian, in the bag is how many points to win? I think you'll win by three tries. 18 points. At least. Oh, that'll be nice. Um, Cook and Gagai and, and Cam Murray are maybe up. That, well, They may be resting. No. Not, resting. No, not after they've, four, they've not after four or five day turnaround, no. Yeah. Yeah. They've announced the team and the, all three have been picked in the right. team. Mind you, it is a team of 22. Right. And Burgess is in number 20 spot, I think. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on. But Oops, wrong team. What, Tom? No, uh, Sam. Sam? Mm. Yeah, that's just yeah, no, yeah. I mean, Twenty-one. I mean, they're just filling in numbers. Yeah, exactly. f- filling in numbers. Yeah. So I'm looking. At, I'm looking at those reserves, Steve, and I'm not seeing anyone who's going to come on and take positions off them yeah, players. No. You're, no. you're right. Don't worry. Okay, let's move on to Friday night's game, where the first is at six o'clock, and at uh, Wynn Stadium, where St George play North Queensland. This is usually a good game. Mm. St George and North Queensland games are quite often good games. Drink water. Yes. Mid-season switch. Is he playing? He's playing. Listed okay. at fullback, which means Michael Morgan goes back into the number six. Oh, there is another <coughs> mid-season switch that may be announced very soon too. Yeah, yeah. The next game? No, nah, the first game. First game. Yeah. Yep. Jaden Sewer. South. Back to the Rabbitohs. Mm. Apparently they're close to getting him for next year, and the word is, is that there's a possibility they'll have him for this year. Right. He won't play on the weekend, anyway, of course. Anyway, enough about South. That's boring. Oh, well, Jaden Sewer, that's probably an appropriate term. Oh, come on, Tom. Don't go there. <laughs> I apologise, right. uh, Jaden. You're welcome at the Bunnies. <laughs> Don't let these Rorters supporters yes, Jayden, sewer. put you off. Yeah. All right. So, so, George, so the, Dragons will, the Dragons will go out to a 10 nil lead and then lose by, by 10. 30. Oh, okay. You're generous. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Dragons to come back from that, right. to come back and win. Cowboys have been indifferent. Yeah, and they've just lost Baptiste, I think, for the year. Yes. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yep. Injury. Yeah. I like From Baptiste. The... I think he's yeah. really good service. Yeah. I, I, look, I got, I got, I, I'll be going for St. George in this one as well. But yeah. then, you know what? I'm so far down the tipping competition. What do I know? Well, therefore, just, I'm going for the Cowboys. Just yeah, listen yeah. to me, Steve. Just listen to me. Yes. Go the Dragons. Dragons. Okay. So, yes. so you Tigers, Dragons. I'm, I'm no, no. Dragons. South. South Dragons. South Dragons. Okay. Right. He yeah. doesn't even know who his team is now. Right. Okay, let's move on to yeah. Friday night at nearly 8 o'clock, Adelaide Oval. Mm. Ooh, it's the Roosters against Melbourne. Yeah. Sally is going to bag you out if you lose. Yep. Go for it, Sally. Look, I think it's going to be a struggle, honestly, fact, for the Roosters. You have Brian's permission to hammer Tom, okay? <laughs> well, what happens, what Sally, if the Roosters win? 
No, you got no. She's a she's a viewer. You can't pick on her at all. But you can you can comment. No. Um, look, I think the the Roosters will struggle with the Storm the way they're playing, but um, we uh, we've had them as you before, and um, look, I'll give them a I'll rate them a real chance. Yeah. Look, if if we're still we're still missing some key players, they're not, um, and that's the difference. I think that will be the difference probably on the night. I'll be tipping the Roosters, of course, but um, I don't have a lot of confidence. It, actually, if 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 Latrell Mitchell <laughs> is going to have a blinder, it'll this be against one. Chambers. Yep. Yep. This, this will be the game he'll really want to show himself. And another 45 me- metre field, field goal to win the game will do me something. <laughs> yeah, I think so I'm going to have to go Melbourne this one. Yep. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm leaning toward Melbourne in Adelaide, but it'll be tight either way. Oh, well, yeah. I hope so. I mean, given the, given the number of plays we've got out, um, I, I, you know, I think most people would be expecting to do the Will Cordner be playing? Yeah. Yeah, Cordner will back yeah. up. Yeah, he's, he's good. Didn't do much no, in but he, but he did oh, get You're in, kidding He got injured. injured. You yeah, are kidding me. No, he got, he got HIA'd. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Did, he, did, he didn't do anything. Off. Led by problem, example. But the, you know, the problem was, <laughs> no. he got he got knocked. Yeah. It was 15 minutes later they pulled him off. He played, he, he probably made 20 tackles in that time. Um, and he made 20 three, tackles four, all game. Or five hit-ups. And, uh, and then they took him off. It was ridiculous. No lateral movement in defence. He anyway. led, led by example, as always. As always, all right. Exemplary. Let's go to Saturday's game with the first of those at three o'clock and the Gold Coast Titans at Seabus mm-hmm. Super Stadium mm-hmm. are playing Manly Sea Eagles. You got Tom now. Yep. Uh, one change to the Manly team from last week and that's uh, poor old Appy. Appy's yeah, out Appy's with his out. ankle. Is he gone for the season? No. No, it's uh, three, four weeks. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, he'll be back at the next or the round after. So, yeah, barely to win that quite comfortably. Even though the Gold Coast have traditionally been our, our bogey team, we should win that one. Um, I wonder when Callum Wat- Watkins is coming, because apparently he's coming mid-season. Callum Watkins? From England. Yeah, he's a, he's a terrific... He plays for England. Oh, right. that's right, to the Gold Coast. Yes, yeah, yes. Yep. Um, I did uh, I did read about it. I was thinking, hang on, I don't remember that happening. He's, he's a good player. Uh, but look, I think I'd be tipping the Seagulls. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We're all in agreement for the first time all night. <laughs> Okay, let's go on to McDonald Jones Stadium where the Newcastle Knights are playing the Brisbane Broncos. There's actually a couple of good, really good games this weekend. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. I think the Knights will win this easily. easily. Mm. I think the Broncos are struggling. I, I don't know about easily, mm. but um, and it depends on what Broncos team shows up. Yeah, that's right. They've been, talk about hot and cold, they've been exceptional in a couple of games this year. In a couple of games. What round is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. About 15. Well, they've lost. Uh, no, they've lost their last two. Yeah. And the one before that, they beat the Warriors eight two. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, I think the Knights will be comfortable in this game. Yeah, but often Gowie, Payne Hass, Pangai Junior. They've they've got players coming back. Yeah. So, I think it'll be a, a little bit closer than um, a smashing. Tom, I won't be a smashing. I didn't ever say it would be a smashing. I said it'd be comfortable. I'm leaning mm. towards the Broncos here. Mm. I'll probably go Newcastle because it's at Newcastle. Where is Stephen's head? That's in Queensland. And no. I'll be very curious no, no. to see whether um, Clemmer plays. Yeah. He is listed at 19, in the number 19 jersey, yes. Okay. Mm. All right. So let's go to TIO Stadium where the Parramatta Eels are playing the Canberra no, Radius. TIO is not GIO. No. Where's TIO? TIO is Darwin. 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 Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Poor old Raiders up in Darwin. They're going to sweat like nothing else. Against Parramatta. And all, again, the, all those pommies playing in that in that tropical <laughs> heat. <laughs> Look, the, the, Eels, the, the Eels can beat the Raiders, but it's just whether they turn up and play to their Well, they're another team. That, that, that yeah. They've got yeah. split personality, aren't they? Look, I'm going to go Eels because it's away from GIO Stadium and theoretically a home game for, for the Eels. But, uh, yeah, look, no confidence. Well, I'm going to go the Raiders because it's not at GIO Stadium and it's a home game for the Eels. <laughs> Steve? I'm sitting on the fence in this one. You know what they should, the Eels should do? They should bring Bankwest Stadium signs wherever they go and just put them around because when they see Bankwest Stadium, they always perform. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I'm going to sit on the fence. I, I can't choose that one. 
Okay, let's go on to Sunday, Mount Smart Stadium, where the Warriors play the Penrith Panthers. It's a tough game to see this week, yeah. seriously. Because the Warriors at home can be good. Uh, well, no. they can be, but last week... Last time they played, they got smashed by Brisbane the last time they were at home. Yeah. And then they win against the Gold Coast comfortably on the Gold Coast. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm going Panthers. Yeah, Panthers make it, too. was it four, five in a row for the Panthers now? If they win this? Yeah. Mm. It's pretty scary because nah, they've got a good team. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, I, I got a lens. All right, might have talked me into it. Really? <clears throat> yeah. We're all going Panthers. And then the final one and eight, ANZ on Sunday night was the Canterbury Bulldogs against Cronulla Sharks. It, it, it's just sad, but it's just a training run for any team that plays the Bulldogs right yeah. at the moment. Honestly, just... I, I would think Channel 9 are probably very disappointed to have this game because yeah. well, it's, the, not, the it's ratings not going to rate really that well. low. Yeah. 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 yeah, and you'll have three men in their dogs. Yeah. Literally. I don't know. Aims there. I'll watch it. I'll watch no, the but, Sharks but at win. The ground, but at the ground. Yeah, there'll, but, be, there'll be nobody there. No, the dogs fans show up. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah I, I'm going to go the Sharks. Sharks comfortably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Gentlemen, anything else you want to add before we finish off? Brian, anything mm-hmm. intelligent? What? Oh. Uh, Did you want to? But just, no, you can bring it up. Oh, you want to do the letter? Leave. Yeah. Do the letter. No, the, la- the, letter's, the letter didn't change. The letter didn't no, change. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, just that the Roosters are, are now buying, because, you know, they're now buying every half in the comp. I know. I know. Fair it income. Says the, says the player who's already bought six halves. Who? Who? Yeah, Croker and LG and... Reserve Cust and C- Croker is a reserve. Croker was a reserve grader. Cust is a junior. Well, Kyle Flanagan's been playing a reserve grade until the last few weeks. Please. So we bought him from reserve Please. grade, basically on potential. Yeah, yeah. What about the bloke from Brisbane? And you, you guys got yeah, he's sixteen. So He'll many be playing halves. When he's 20. So many halves. Well, you just can never have enough. We'll buy all the halves in the comp. Well, they buy props. They've got the money to do they, it. They buy big men. <laughs> They've got the Burgess brothers. They're buying Jaden Sewer. And a guy from England, apparently. Yeah. Nah, he won't so come. He go. won't. He won't leave England. Yeah, I reckon. Nah. Who's that? Yep. Yeah. Who's that? He watches the show. Oh, uh, there's a there's a, <laughs> uh, it's a illusion. <laughs> see, a prop forward that Wayne Bennett's been trying to get over. Oh right? yeah, yeah. yeah what's his name? Every, the one that everybody's after. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thompson. Tom Thompson. Something like uh, that. Yeah, yeah. I watched him. He's he's really. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I won't believe it until I see him. Yeah, I won't believe yeah, it until he plays crazy. until he plays at Manly. He's not going to play at Manly. Why? He wants to we win games. We need a. Mm-hmm. He's coming. He's coming oh, over. Those are fighting words. He's coming over to play to win a premiership, not to play with Manly. Can, wait, can you just pop the ladder up there for a second, Tom? Oh, yeah. Because I I, I just oh, want. Really? To, you want, you want I, to no, no. I, I, I just I just want to have a look at this. So. So if I'm looking at the ladder, which is, uh, let's see, wins. Wins to the Rabbitohs. Rabbitohs have had 10 wins. wins. Mm. Seagulls, eight. Not bad for a team that was picked for the spoon. So you've had four losses, uh, one of those to Manly. Did you beat us? No, not this year. (laughs) You beat us by one point. Hey, we beat you. And in a couple of weeks' time... We'll beat you by more. We'll see. You, know, <laughs> you are an Olympic gold medalist gloater. Seriously. <laughs> uh, only with you two. He has nothing else. He's got nothing else. Um, now, the hiatus. You want to talk about the hiatus? No, no. We'll do that later when we, when we get everything sorted out. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Okay. Well, I can't so remember when we're going to be. Leave him in suspense. Everybody just be in suspense. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Major announcement coming up, but we'll deal with it. Okay. Um, anything else you want to add before we go? No, Bruce is right. we'll by all the halves, it'll and be, it's going to be good to have. It'd be good to have NRL football back. It'd be oh yeah, great yeah, to have NRL yeah, football back. It's just back. been really hard. Even if I love that state of origin game, yeah, yeah. It wasn't bad. I've seen better state of oh, origin look, games. Would you rather see thirty-eight to six to the Blues or thirty-eight to six to the to the Maroons? Oh, he has to oh, think about that. that. <laughs> oh dear. That year in Queensland just absolutely poisoned his mind. <laughs> Heartland of rugby league with I, I, no one else to pick. I've got to tell you, I went this close to changing my tip for State of Origin for last Wednesday. Not <sighs> Sunday. Trader. I nearly did it. He's I a nearly... trader. He's a trader. No, but I didn't do it. Yeah. 
I'm you're thoughtful. Nearly, you're nearly a trader. You're this, this much off being a trader. But All I'm right. thoughtful. I didn't do it. For those out there that are still watching, <laughs> why? <laughs> Thank you all for watching. This is Anna from the Sidelines with Tom Brown and Steve. And uh, mm. we'll do it all again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya.